So what I have here is this plastic screen protector that comes on this printer. Now I've done some testing on it and the quality that I'm getting with this on isn't the best. So I'm going to remove it and then do a before and after print without this plastic screen protector. Now I am happy that it comes with this gasket that's all one piece. I've wanted that for a long time, but I want it where this is glass. Of course, I'm pretty sure that's not actually possible, but eh, it is what it is. So let's remove this right here. And there we go. There is the stock screen protector. As you can see, it's not very transparent, actually pretty opaque for something we want to be as tra transparent as we can. Now, what I don't have is I don't have anything to put over this to cover it up so that I'm not right on the LCD. So I'm just gonna have to be really, really careful until I get something to put over it. So I've got this stuff right here. This is a type of tape that's like an LCD type of tape. It's very, very thin. This is not electrical tape. It's very, very sticky. It's hard to get off. Um, so I have to use like goof off. That's the only thing I don't like about it is once it's on there, it's kind of on there. The advantage is, of course, it's so thin, it won't affect the release film on these printers. So this is what I'm gonna use, but of course it's way, way too thick. I have to cut it down in size. All right, I'm just gonna use these, this here as my guide to cut these strips. I'll cut this last one off when I put it on the printer, but these right here are nice strips for the printer. Exposure test and do a back cleaning. You can see here that we're, I think we're just on the line there, so I'm gonna be pretty careful. There's a bump here and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the bump. And last piece is the top piece and then we're done. This side over here went in a little bit, but I can kind of see where the LCD, you can't see it on camera, but I can kind of see where the LCD screen is, where it's dark and light. And it looks like I come up just on the line, but not enough over that I think it's gonna cut off any print on that side. I think it's gonna be right there. All right, now let's see how much clearer the prints are after removing the plastic screen protect. Like I said, eventually I'm gonna get a glass one that's gonna fit on top of this one, but the glass one's gonna be really thin and it will be tempered glass, so it's really not gonna do much to affect the quality. But as of right now, yes, I'm gonna be risking it and printing directly on the LCD. So this is just some dental tape. It's sticky on one side, so I can use it to remove dust. It won't leave any residue on the screen. I use it whenever I remove the vat on the LCD and underneath the vat. That way I can remove dust before I put it back on. In this situation, it's gonna do good to help me get all the dust before I take this photo. So what I got going on now is I got uh, my other camera with a macro lens on it. I'm running a print that's going to just do a bunch of cross hatches. That's going to let me see the quality of the LCDs uh, without the screen protector. And then we'll have a before and after picture of, um, of all the cross sections with and without the uh, plastic screen protector. So we'll see. First, let's see what this looks like in UV tools. This is what the LCD should be reading. Now, if we look at it with the screen protector on, it's very blurry, the lines are fuzzy, uh, and you can't see any of the pixels at all. Without the screen protector, however, you can start to see the actual pixels there. It's much sharper, much cleaner. This will give us a much higher quality print. And so there you have it. If you're using a screen protector on your printer, now this isn't just this one, this is any printer. And especially if it's one of these big plastic ones that covers the entire top of your printer, or it's a plastic one at all, remove it. Uh, they're not good. They're just damaging your printer. I know a lot of us are buying printers with uh, 10K, 12K, 16K LCDs. You're spending money on expensive resins. That's 14K or, you know, whatever it says on the bottle, which may be marketing, maybe not. But these things, they're not doing you any favors. Uh, of course, they are protecting your screen, but you can get a glass one that's not going to do the same level of damage to your printer. It's not going to be as clear without printing with a screen protector. Nothing will be better than that. But as far as offering some protection versus what it removes from your print quality, these plastic ones are definitely not worth it.